a special broadcast to clarify the situation in the capital city, Honiara. One of the boys slapped me with the butt of a gun, and that was when they started beating me up. Elements of the Royal Solomon Islands Police Paramilitary Force stormed and took control of our country's main police armories. Gun culture, you, you seem to have no boundaries. You just want to do anything that you, you want. When they came, I have to hide my children. So I have to stand at the door and prepare. And don't worry about me dying, but I worry about the children. Ordinary people were very frustrated with the inability of the government to stop the violence. A letter was handed to the Prime Minister this morning, asking him to resign within 48 hours. But it dawned on me once when I saw um, a whole lot of people in fatigue uniforms drive across town, openly holding arms. The government of Solomon Islands was not in a position to deliver services that it needed. When the decision was made by the Australian government that, you know, they will support a strong regional engagement, to me, it's a, it's a real blessing for our country. Ramsey was seen as, as the country's saviour. It was moving at a pace that we didn't expect. I'm sure the Solomon Islanders didn't expect, but put us on a path to real and lasting success. We know that we've got to keep proving ourselves. The reality is the proof is in the work that we do. We need to now lead by example, show the country what we're capable of doing and step up to the task. We, we messed up. I think we can build a better Solomons. It's important that we, you know, we support neighbours in our region and Solomons is a valued neighbour in our region. We are diverse across the region, but in the end we are one family held together by the Pacific Ocean.